Hello everyone and welcome back to another podcast powered by Grow Junction and I Shivangi Shaw will be your host for the day. Today we have with us Mr. Shubham Kumar, product manager at Paytm. We are honored to have you with us Shubham. How are you? Hi doing? Shivangi. Thanks for introducing me. Uh, I'm doing good. How are you? How are you? Doing? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. So, before we start the podcast, it will be great if you could, you know, give us a short introduction of yourself to the viewers. definitely so i am uh, kumar shubham i am a product manager at ptm and it, it has been around about 1 year of experience at ptm before this i was uh, doing my mba at i am lucknow and over there i majored in basically systems and marketing domains and that was a very good experience those 2 years of experience because that took me to the management line from where i was before and since i talked about before I have a 3 years of experience in the software domain. I was an application development engineer at Unisys and over there I browsed about different roles like development, testing, support as well. So from that experience now moving into a management line it has been a beautiful journey. And yes before that uh, my BTech degree in computer science from Cochin University of Science and Technology. So that's how it has been and apart from that I love exploring places and interest into sports a bit that's about me great that's great so you were talking about your mba and you know you've done your mba from iim lucknow so how was your experience uh, regarding the academics there your placements and basically your overall journey at iim lucknow i think it was a great experience so once you move from a very specific domain of software engineering into a management domain where you are not only exposed to one set of people or one set of academics that's a very diverse experience that you gain so i see i am lucknow as a whole into different spaces one would as you highlighted academics so since we have very renowned professors over there so you get to learn about the different areas finance marketing systems uh, and uh, all of that a lot from those professors and apart from that the personality and the attitude development that you have by interacting with people from different streams because not only people have joined i am lucknow from a software domain as yours there would be people from a lot of areas and that diversity gives you a chance to grow a lot and i see my development from i am lucknow at a larger scale so yeah it was a great experience and then i was a part of different societies different committees so that also helped me interact with a lot of leaders or uh, we had leadership talks ppt so along that journey it was great yeah so i can actually relate with that you know because i am doing mba as well and i meet people from very different domains and it just expands my knowledge in you know each and every specialization so yeah Definitely. so moving forward uh, you were working as an uh, you know application development engineer before and then right. now you're working as a product manager so was it always that you wanted to go into this domain like you know you wanted to be a product manager if you could show some light uh not always i would say so how it started was uh, i when i started back in unisys india as uh, uh, application development engineer i moved into places like first i was in one project doing support role then testing role then development role and while as doing uh, or living that journey i realized that i want to be at the users end try and understand the users or the clients problem and make the decisions myself rather than getting a requirement and doing it all together so that was one of the push that i got and this kind of experience of understanding the user solving their problems can come across various domains in management line and that is why when i join mba i was very clear that i'll be open to the different uh, domains that we are offered or different specializations we are offered and finally by the end of first year i was inclined towards marketing and product management so those were the two key areas where i was looking at but as time progressed uh, my inclination towards product management grew because even in product management we are solving user problems on a daily basis understanding what could be the next big feature with which we can actually grow our product or grow our company with the vision that our company takes so it has been a progressive journey i would say and in that journey my inclination towards product management has grown every day and even today whenever i work on new problem 
that motivation kicks in again and probably i become a better product manager better enthusiast of the product management team so yes that has been the journey for me that's very inspiring yeah so uh, since you know product management is getting very popular nowadays you know everybody wants to become a product manager and apply for that role so what according to you is the role of a product manager and with on those lines only how would you describe your day to day work as a product manager at pedium okay so let me take the second question as the descriptor of the first question as well so how i describe a day to day work of a product management or how it works at ptm and other organizations as well because i do keep interacting with friends in different product management companies generally uh, the very first part is idea generation or the requirement that you get of let's say you have been given the ownership of a particular product and you have been told to grow that product now in order to grow that product you have to get an idea a new future or a new requirement that you kick in once that requirement comes in obviously there will be different sources of that requirement there would be business folks who are doing primary research secondary research and competitive analysis to get what what kind of parity do we want with in comparison to uh, one of your your competitors and there are internal employees your sales agents your on ground people and then you yourself would be thinking a lot about uh looking at the data what to develop once that idea or the requirement is kind of clear to you then you convert it into a problem of what problem is it solving for the larger masses or for the target group that you are actually uh looking at once you have the problem the most interesting part is solutionizing it because you will have a high level problem for you but understanding what kind of use cases are you actually solving what different users can do because i personally feel users are very notorious they can do a lot of things i mean they can do all error cases that you can uh, that you need to handle so once you have that solutioning in mind you create a product requirement document to sit with you and then your uh, stakeholder management kicks in because after you have the documentation ready for the solution you need to sit with your designer you need to have that uh, designing knowledge to talk to your designer and get that design the user flow design and uh, once that user flow is also designed you go to your tech team groom them of the tasks that you want to develop the features that you want to develop and a very important part is once that uh, particular feature has been developed by your team then you need to test it yourself and test it in the market as well so once it goes to the market you need to have your matrices ready where you would be saying that these are the matrices that i would be impacting with this feature launch and ultimately post the launch you need to keep tracking it to tell your organization or leadership that this is what we envisioned and this is what we have achieved so this is the life cycle for one feature development and we on a daily basis keep on doing 6 7 parallel feature developments over a sprint so definitely in a day's time i'll bifurcate or bucketize our uh, my time as some time to the designer some time to the tech team some time finalizing my matrices itself or solutioning things so this is how an end to end life cycle works and that ultimately turns up into how my day to day life goes yes that's that's how it goes that's great actually very insightful again so uh, moving forward Uh, what according to you does a recruiter look for in a candidate when it comes to product management again my second question will be is being a fresher or you know having a particular level of work experience in product management does it have an impact when you give interviews in the big companies okay so uh, talking about the first question first so as i highlighted the life cycle right so let's say i imagine myself as a uh, recruiter okay whenever i am going to uh, maybe hire some new product managers be they fresher or with some work experience i would like to relate that particular candidate to this product life cycle so as i said an important part is solving a problem understanding the problem and solving it so for that generally the recruiters have an rca kind of a question root cause and analysis like kind of question where they would say okay let's say the sales for a particular feature uh, particular product are dropping how would you analyze it then what we look for in a candidate is are they asking the right set of questions because i made a high level statement 
are they looking are they responding with the right set of questions and are they able to reach to that stage of uh, to the stage where we can analyze the root cause so that is one set of question or one skill that we look at in a new product manager second would be definitely uh, the knowledge of ui ux where we look at whether the candidate is able to analyze the user flow in his mind and at the same time communicate it to different people where a design question comes in that let's say we are designing a particular feature for x set of people then how would you design it so that overall thinking process is important another thing as i communicated after one set of cycle we start in, we delve deep into stakeholder management so over their communication skills is very important where the candidates would definitely need not definitely but they'll need to have good understanding of what the problem is and they should be able to communicate the same to other people and then uh, since we deal into matrices and other kind of thing so for that analytical skills reasoning skills those are important so that you are able to uh, you are able to groom them as well and in a whole i would say uh, combining all of these you should have a good product sense so if you are not a product enthusiast or if you are not a tech enthusiast then maybe you are not very well matured for this particular role but definitely that comes with practice that uh, grows with practice so these are the different things coming to the second part whether being a fresher or with the work experience matters or not so i have seen i mean i myself was a fresher one year back so definitely it's not a flaw back it's obviously good to have a work experience because more the work experience you have you will have an understanding of not only product management but also the industry or the process of how things work over here but as a fresher you should be very enthusiastic of whatever product you are given you are not only aligned to that particular product but you keep learning about other products as well because that would give you a wider scope of understanding how the product management industry works so it's not a drawback definitely uh, i think these days freshers are being considered because they have a fresh thinking but at the same time having a work ex gives you an edge of having that industry knowledge and system of how things work right right very interesting yeah. okay so uh, moving on how has your experience been so far you know being a product manager in paytm such a reputation it has been great i would say uh, i mean i struggled a bit in the initial phases i was moved into different products and different teams but then that's a learning curve that we all adapt to initially uh, how i was groomed was i was asked to again ask the right set of questions because everyone in the organization is quite occupied with their work so i cannot have n number of questions and go to them and uh, bug them so definitely i learned how to ask the right set of questions and then i kind of developed those wire frames and prototypes on myself to learn about ui ux how matrices are defined so there has been hiccups definitely but now by the end of first year at least i am confident of the role that i am into and uh, i mean 5 years 10 years down down the line at least i see myself growing into this particular domain of product management itself and thanks to patium for uh, having me here and giving me that insight because everyone is helpful over here and again uh, that diversity that even patium brings into even though everyone is a product manager but everyone has their own set of or style of working someone looks at a problem with a vision one another one looks at it with vision two so you can actually learn from those people so yes it has been a great journey and it's still on going great to that great so uh, moving forward so there were many companies that were you know badly hit due to covid and some companies are still recovering so how has it impacted the product managers and are there any new strategies that are being formulated to uh, adapt to this new norm that you could throw some light i think yes i mean one year two year ago uh, we were badly hit by covid and that has in- impacted the recruitment cycle and not only the recruitment cycle but also the ongoing employees have been uh, existing employees have been affected but i think it industry as a whole which forms the larger base for product management 
that has not been hit very badly because uh, people have accustomed to the virtual way of working so ad- that particular adaptation from shifting to work from office to actually working virtually at home that has been a challenge which over a period of time people has uh, people have adapted to but uh, i mean i remember back at our days uh, when we were uh, coming uh, coming up for campus placement we were quite worried that whether the placements would be affected because of covid or not so it was to some extent affected but at the same time we saw that a lot new product companies also came up and they offered their roles so overall it has been a bit of a bit difficult for the people but not completely devastating definitely and uh, coming to the second part about the strategy so definitely as i said people have adapted to video calls there was a thing that people used to have the cameras off in the beginning because they were camera shy people have turned out to be more uh, uh, cooperative there and then we in terms of strategies we have been devising common times where we can set up uh, conference calls so that all the important stakeholders in a particular discussion are there so those alignments have been uh, an important thing because uh, if you are not aligned with the virtual process probably you are wasting others time so yes that's how we have adapted to this situation great great that's great so my last question to you will be were there any struggles or obstacles that you faced in your journey at all and if yes then how did you deal with those and what were your learnings from them so could tell us to you once so are we talking about my journey as patient anything anything you would like to highlight in your professional journey okay so i think uh, I, i mean uh, to talk at an umbrella level we all struggle in the beginning and i would not term it as struggle i would say i would uh, term that as a learning phase for everyone because initially whenever you go to a particular industry right let's say i came into paytm i was pushed into a payment gateway kind of structure so it's very important that you start from the top from the macro level and at the macro level i had to understand about the payments industry in my case so over there uh, i was helped by a lot of Uh, my seniors my immediate seniors who joined ktm so they helped me with the documentation and a high level long uh, high level knowledge of how the payments industry works so i started at the macro level of understanding the industry once i was confident with how the payment industry works i found my new struggle of understanding how the payment gateway inside the payment industry works so i started learning that and then gradually i entered into the product management skill set because unless and until you understand the industry or the process of how things work in that particular industry you would not be able to own your product to a very high level and once i had that confidence i then started understanding the user journey of my product and uh, then uh, carve out what kind of problems users would still be facing in that particular journey and then yes i reached out to certain people initially i bugged a lot of people and as i mentioned earlier as well that uh, a few people were restrictive given the available bandwidth was a question at that point in time because they were also busy with their product but gradually uh, i learned a way of how to find the right set of people or the right spot as we call it to uh, understand a particular process and get it done and uh, yes over the time uh, learning about these different skill sets that we definitely mentioned about of uh, ui ux designing uh, matrix development etc has been a bit difficult but uh, after learning it through different certifications i went through different certifications that are offered across linkedin coursera etc and that also helped me a lot so as a advice i would say don't feel pressurized whenever you get into the field of product management because product management is not about getting things right at the very first moment when you enter into this domain it's more about how you learn the process in the go and improve yourself because more than improving the product it's very important to improve yourself and then you move to the product and align it with the organization's goal so yes that is uh, how it goes and how my journey has been. 
along with the spectrum. Okay, again, that was very insightful and inspiring for all, for me as well as for the viewers. So thank you so much, Shubham, for answering all our questions so patiently and you know taking our time for our viewers. So we are again honored to have you with us. Thank you for your time. No, thanks for having me here. Uh, it's a pleasure, Shivang, because I am able to express myself openly to everyone who is a product enthusiast, and not only from a product enthusiast perspective, but in general as well. So, thanks to you and your team for having me. Thank you so much. Shubham.